Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to evaluate algebra expressions. And these are the two examples that we're going to evaluate with these given values. By the way, guys, before evaluating, what is meant by evaluating algebra expressions? Here, you're given expressions, and then you will evaluate this using these values, in which you will replace these variables by these numbers. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, what we have here is these first two examples. The first one is that we have 5x plus y as your given expression. And then you will evaluate it when x is equal to 8 and then y is equal to 6. So, what will happen here in evaluating expressions is that, as you can see, in 5x, we have your x. You will replace this by the value of 8. So it goes like this. We have 5 times 8 plus, for the variable y, since y is equal to 6, you will replace this variable y by 6. And basically, after substituting the values, what you need to do is to apply the PEMDAS, MDAS, or other orders of operations. Here, we will start with 5 times 8 which is equal to 40 plus 6. Simplifying this, 40 plus 6 is simply 46. And this is now the value, or the evaluated value of 5x plus y, when x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 6. So let's continue with item number 2. In number 2, what we have here is x cubed plus 4y minus y. Wherein, as you can see, it involves three different variables. Your x is equal to 2, your y is equal to 3, your z is equal to negative 1. Let us replace all these variables using these values, and it goes like this. For x is equal to 2, it will become 2 raised to 3 plus 4 times your y, which is equal to 3. 4 times 3 minus, since your z is negative, put it inside the parenthesis. It will become negative 1. Here, your 2 cube, the 2 cube is the same as 2 times 2 times 2, and that is equal to 8. So we will replace this by 8 plus 4 times 3, that is 12. The negative times negative first, we have positive 1. And we need to add these numbers. 8 plus 12, which is 20, plus 1, that is equal to 21. And that's it for items number 1 and number 2. Now let's continue with item number 3 and 4. For item number 3, I am using right now the variables a and b. Because baka manotis nyo lagi na lagi nilang x, y, and z. So let's try these variables. What we have here is 7 times a plus 4 plus 3 plus b. Hindi mo na kailangan tong gamitan ng distributive property. You can directly substitute the values like this. 7 times your a which is equal to 4. Then plus 4. Again, this variable a is replaced by 4 because a is equal to 4. So it will become like this. Then plus 3, your b is 5, times 5. So what's next, sir? Are we going to multiply 7 and 4? No. Simplify first the numbers inside the parentheses. It will become 7 times 4 plus 4, which is equal to 8, plus 3 times 5, we can multiply them, and that is basically 15. Now, 7 times 8 is 56, then copy plus 15. So 56 plus 15, that would be 71. And this is now the answer for item number 3. So you hope guys, na hindihan yung ginawa natin from example number 1, 2, and 3. And right now, I have here your assignment. You can try this. 
And I hope na ilagay niyo yung sagot niyo sa comment section when you answer 5A plus a minus 3B when A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3. So again, I hope you learned something from this video on how to evaluate algebra expressions. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.